Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 303. We are headed out today. We're getting a late start. I was planning on leaving at nine. It is, it's, it's noon. So, um, yeah, uh, we're we're starting a, a little late today. But anyway, uh, we got about a five-hour ride to um, Antler, which is where we're staying. Um, Moyers is where. Uh, Moyers is where the campground is and uh, we're staying like Antler is like seven miles away at a hotel there uh, Last time we were there. We were at an Airbnb. I did not get the Airbnb this time So we're at a hotel who knows what we're gonna see or what we're gonna face at this hotel But we will find out soon enough. So it looks like we'll probably get there around. I don't know 6 6 30 So I don't even know if we're gonna go to K River tonight or if we're just gonna hang out at the hotel do some work and then go there first thing tomorrow um but stay tuned anyway we're off and running um and uh, we'll see you on the road all right gas stop number one we're in neosho missouri we are on our way there's mama anyway we're headed to moyers we got about four hours left in this ride check out this cool car behind me you see it Anyway, off we go.
What happened? Did it die or did you kill it? We like being cool. I'm gonna shut it off and cruise in. You're so cool. guys hear mama's cool idea so she shut the bike off back there and thought she was gonna roll in that yeah, didn't really work did it smooth move grace all right we're here here is the clubhouse can I see the vendors and all set up all around got the RVs up here this will be the mini track the mini bike track later this later on they usually come running right around through here we'll ride through the campground here in a little bit right now mama's going to the bathroom we'll wait on her to get out here then we'll uh, cruise around the campground all right guys fast forward a few hours and we are in a hotel we're not in the hotel i had booked we're in the hotel that I originally tried to book, but they said they were completely full up. So here's the story. We left K River, um, and I didn't even record driving out for some reason. I don't know. I was focused on, let's get to town. I do not know what I'm going to be faced with when I get to town and see my hotel room, what it's going to be like, so on and so forth. So we get to town. It's like seven miles just so you guys get a feel for this. So seven miles from K River to Antler, which is the town we're staying in. Antler has like two hotels in town. Um, and uh, we are now staying at the second hotel, which was the first one I actually wanted. But anyway, I digress. Continue to the story. So we go to the first hotel, which is a budget inn. And um, we get all checked in and we go to the room and first off it smells like cigarette smoke like crazy um, and Angie's already got we're not sure if she's got allergies or if she caught a cold or what so she's just like fist bumping everybody and not getting real close just in case right and um, so of course her sinuses are all jacked up and then we walked into this place and it smelt so bad like cigarettes and i'm a 25 year smoker so um yeah it smelled horrible and then angie started pulling off the covers off of the off of the bed and we suspect bed bugs at least at one time there was bed bugs in there so um we went back to the front desk and i was like dude um we can't we can't sleep in there um it smells horrible so he's like, all right, well, I got one other room for you to take a look at. If you don't want it, I'll give you a refund. I said, all right. So, I mean, we'd already made up our mind that it didn't matter if the, the next room smelled like roses. We were out of there. Um, and I had already called this hotel, and they're like, yeah, we've got a room open. So we kind of already made a plan. But to satisfy him and, of course, to not have to charge back or get in a fight, over the room he gave us another key so it was like two doors down we walked in there and they had they had used some kind of chemical or something to get the smoke smell out so it didn't smell like smoke but it smelled like the chemical like i said we'd already made up our mind we weren't staying there but it definitely smelled better than the first room did so we go back he refunds us we head over to the hotel so we walk into this hotel and they are, there is a school bus of baseball players that pulled in the driveway before us. They were here when we got here and one guy was checking in like 12 rooms. Um, yeah, that took a while. So we basically stood in the, in the office, in the downstairs, whatever you want to call it, lobby, lobby. I stood in the lobby for I don't know, 20 minutes waiting for them to get all of these people in. Then they got me in, got into the room. This room is, is 
really, really nice compared to the room that we were just, you know, we're about to stay in. And Angie's like, I'm so glad we left. I would have been miserable all weekend. Both of us would have. We'd have been like, ew, I don't want to touch anything. Um, yuck. So the beauty of it was we had never unpacked the bikes. We're pretty experienced at this. So anytime we don't know, we go in, we check in, we take the key, we go to the room, we inspect the room um, before we ever even bring luggage and stuff into the room. Because, you know, if you take it into a room and something gets in your luggage, now you're carrying it around. And we're super picky about that, especially with as many people's houses as we stay at. But anyway, that is it. That is today. We, we knocked out 300 miles. The weather was phenomenal. Looks like weather's going to be awesome all weekend. We did get to stop in at K River, say hi to a few people. We'll be back there tomorrow and the next day. So the festivities will continue tomorrow. But until then, um, I'm going to get some night-night time, get this video uploaded, edited, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.